Welcome to Sri Ram Medical College. Today we will explore What is frozen shoulder, adhesive capsulitis, its origins, progression, diagnosis and care? Painful stiffness and inflammation of the shoulder joint characterize frozen shoulder. Sticky capsulitis, or frozen shoulder, is a painful ailment that causes restricted shoulder motion. The thickening, stiffening, and inflammation of the shoulder joint capsule, the strong connective tissue that surrounds the shoulder joint, causes frozen shoulder. The humeral head of the upper arm bone is securely fastened into the shoulder socket, glenoid, by ligaments, which are housed within the joint capsule. For short, we'll just call it a ball and socket joint. Frozen shoulder is so named because the more painful the shoulder is, the less likely it is to be used. Inactivity leads to thickening and tightening of the shoulder capsule, which further restricts motion and freezes the shoulder in place. Average age is 40 to 60 years old. Prevalent in females but not in males. Shoulder immobilization due to recent injury or surgery, i.e., by using a shoulder brace, sling, shoulder wrap, etc. Splits in the shoulder blade, collarbone, or upper arm are among examples. Frozen shoulder affects between 10% and 20% of those who have diabetes mellitus. In addition to heart disease, Parkinson's disease and stroke, other health problems like hypothyroidism, underactive thyroid gland, hypothyroidism, overactive thyroid gland, and other thyroid disorders. Stroke increases the likelihood of developing frozen shoulder since it might reduce the range of motion in an arm and shoulder. It is unclear why various diseases and disorders enhance the likelihood of having a frozen shoulder, but they do. In this third stage, known as freezing, the shoulder becomes rigid and unpleasant to move. The suffering steadily worsens. Possible nighttime escalation. There is a worsening inability to move the shoulder. The duration of this phase is somewhere between 3 and 9 months. During the frozen phase, the shoulder may feel less painful but stays rigid. Inevitably, this slows down my regular routine. The duration of this phase is between 2 and 6 months. The thawing, healing, phase sees a reduction in pain and an increase in shoulder mobility. Normal strength and motion return, and the patient makes a full or near full recovery. 6 months to 2 years pass throughout this phase. Your doctor will examine your shoulder's range of motion and any associated pain by moving it in various directions. It is dubbed a passive range of motion assessment since the doctor is doing all the moving, rather than you. Your shoulder active range of motion will be evaluated as well by the doctor. Both types of movement are weighed and contrasted. When a person's shoulder is frozen, their ability to move it in any direction, actively or passively, is severely impaired. Shoulder X-rays are also commonly performed to rule out other shoulder issues like arthritis as the source of the symptoms. Magnetic resonance imaging MRI, and ultrasound, among other advanced imaging procedures, are often unnecessary when trying to diagnose frozen shoulder. They could be checked for things like a torn rotator cuff. As a rule, pain management measures are used during the first stage of treatment. If the issue persists, treatment or surgery may be necessary to restore motion. 
A combination of hot and cold compressors is effective in reducing pain and swelling. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines, NSAIDs, like ibuprofen, Advil, Motrine, and acetaminophen, Tylenol, are effective in reducing pain and swelling. Your doctor may recommend additional pain relievers or anti-inflammatory medications. Steroid injections may be used for more severe pain and edema. Cortisone or another corticosteroid is injected right into the shoulder socket. Physical therapy sessions that focus on stretching and increasing range of motion. Keep up with your at-home workout routine. To alleviate pain, a small battery-operated device called Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation TENS, will be used. After a year of attempting these non-invasive methods, if the pain and stiffness in the shoulder have not subsided, additional surgery may be considered. During a procedure called manipulation under anesthesia, you'll be put to sleep while your doctor manipulates your shoulder in a way that feels uncomfortable. The joint capsule will extend or tear as a result, releasing the tension. The resulting enhanced mobility will be a welcome side effect. Procedures involving the arthroscoping of the shoulder In order to do this procedure, your doctor will need to make a small incision in the capsule that surrounds, capsular release. Incisions are made around the patient's shoulder, and thin instruments, about the size of a pencil, are inserted. In order to optimize outcomes, these two methods are frequently combined. Beginning physical treatment immediately following any shoulder injury that causes painful or difficult shoulder movement might avoid or at least minimize the likelihood of a frozen shoulder. Exercise plans tailored to individual needs might be designed by your orthopedic doctor or physical therapist. In most cases, a cortisone injection and over-the-counter pain medication are all that's needed to get a person back to full mobility and activity within a year. Shoulder mobility and function can improve even without any intervention, albeit at a slower rate of improvement. In roughly two years, patients make a full or near full recovery. Join Sri Ram Medical College's Bachelor of Vocation in Physiotherapy and take the first step toward a successful career in physiotherapy. We are here to assist you in launching your career as a physiotherapist. Call us at 9968193009 for more information about our program or to submit an application right away. Sri Ram Medical College, nurturing next generation of healthcare leaders, and offers all paramedical courses at competitive fee and helps in 100% placement assistance. Admission open. For more information, please visit our website sriramcollege.com and like, share, subscribe, our YouTube channel Sri Ram Medical College. Good luck, goodbye.